statutory rules and orders. In exercise of the powers conferred under Section 4 of the Emergency Powers Act, Chapter 88, the Cabinet of Grenada makes the following regulations. Citation and duration, number one, one. These regulations may be cited as the Emergency Powers COVID-19 Regulations 2020. Number two, these regulations shall come into effect, into effect at 6 p.m. on the 25th day of March 2020 and shall expire at 6 p.m. on the first day of April 2020. Restriction on freedom of movement. Number two, one, a curfew is imposed every day from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m except as provided in these regulations or as may be approved by the commissioner of police number two freedom of movement every day from 5 a.m to 7 p.m shall be exercised in accordance with these regulations number three these regulations shall not apply in the case of a medical emergency work remotely from home number one all businesses and offices may continue their business operations by allowing their employees to work remotely from home utilizing virtual means unless they are permitted to work under regulation 5 or are designated as being essential workers under regulation 7. number two where a business is unable to continue its business operations by its employees working remotely from home, the business shall cease its operations. Public service, statutory bodies, state enterprises, and courts. Number four, one. Subject to sub-regulation two, all members of the public service shall work remotely from home except as otherwise directed by the secretary to the cabinet. Number two, where the secretary to the cabinet directs that specified public officers attend work, the government shall take reasonable steps to A, ensure safe transport of the public officers in accordance with regulation 13, and B, comply with the physical distancing protocols in accordance with regulation 6. Number 3. Subject to sub-regulation 4, all employees of statutory bodies and state-owned enterprises shall work remotely from home except as otherwise directed by the chairperson of the board. Number 4. Where the chairperson of the board directs that specified employees attend work the statutory bodies or state-owned enterprises, as the case shall be, shall take reasonable steps to A. Ensure safe transport of the employees in accordance with Regulation 3 and B. Comply with the physical distancing protocols in, accord in accordance with Regulation 6. Number 5. Subject to the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court practice direction number one of 2020, the courts shall remain accessible, shall adhere to physical distancing protocols, and the persons employed within the public service shall work remotely from home as far as reasonably practicable. Number six, in this regulation, the court means the magistrate's courts, and the West Indies Associated States Supreme Court. Closure of businesses and exceptions. Number five, one. Subject to regulation three, two, every non-essential establishment or business shall remain closed except for the following. A, wholesale or retail grocery stores and commercial bakeries from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. The first two shopping hours to be reserved for seniors, 
disabled persons, and essential workers. B. Doctor's offices, hospitals, or medical facilities. C. Pharmacies and medical supply establishments. D. Gas stations from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. E. Hardware stores from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. F. Hotels, excluding any spas, gyms, discotheques, and restaurants therein. However, such restaurants may offer takeaway or room service. G. Banks, credit unions, and money services businesses from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Mondays to Thursdays and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Fridays. H. Commercial ports and related businesses from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. subject to any variation by the Ports Authority. I. Airports subject to Regulation 101A. J. Commercial courier flights. K. Drive through or takeaway food vendors from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. L. Registered or bona fide fishermen and farmers engaged in their businesses. M. Businesses licensed to provide security guard services. N. Such other businesses or undertakings as may be specifically exempted in writing by the Commissioner of Police and the owner or operator of the establishment specified in paragraphs A to N shall adhere to physical distancing protocols. Number two, all works of construction of any sort apart from urgent plumbing, electrical, roof repairs or other emergency repairs for a home or business shall cease as of 7 p.m. from the 25th day of March 2020. Physical distancing protocols. Number six. Every business or establishment must a. ensure that all customers and staff maintain physical distancing of no less than six feet in or outside their businesses. b. Determine the number of persons that may be permitted in the establishment at any one time by permitting one person for every 30 square feet of store space. C. Within 24 hours of the commencement of these regulations, place distance markers six feet apart, indicating where each customer must stand on a line at a checkout point. D. Within 24 hours of the commencement of these regulations, place distance markers six feet apart on the outside of the establishment, indicating where customers must stand while waiting to enter the establishment. Shelter in place. Number seven, one. In an effort to prevent the spread of COVID-19, every person shall remain confined to their place of residence, inclusive of their yard space, to avoid contact outside of their family, except A, essential workers who report to work. B, workers required to work under Regulation 4 or 5. C, for essential travel to the doctor, grocery store, bank, credit union, money services business, or pharmacy or to refuel. D. All members of Parliament, the Attorney General and the Director of Public Prosecution. E. For outdoor exercise, whether alone or together with family members living under the same roof, not exceeding an hour and a half per day between the hours of 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. Number two. For the purposes of paragraphs A to E of sub-regulation 1, such persons shall ensure at all times to distance themselves at least six feet from any other person. Number three, for the purpose of this regulation, 
An essential worker means officers of A, the Royal Grenada Police Force, B, Her Majesty's Prison, C, the National Insurance Board, D, the Department of Social Services, E, the Department of Environmental Health Services, F, the Customs and Excise Division, G, the Accountant General's Division, H, the Inland Revenue Division, I, Waste Disposal and Sanitation Companies, J, any hospital or healthcare, medical, residential care establishment or facility, K, the Airports Authority and Ports Authority, L, essential workers of any water, electricity or other sector encompassing the provision of electronic communications including print and electronic media and any other officer or category of officers as directed by the secretary to the cabinet. Number three, all essential workers shall at all times carry personal identification. Education and religious instruction. Number eight, one, all religious and educational places of instruction or worship shall remain closed. Two, subregulation one does not prohibit a any activity referred to therein by electronic or virtual means. B, individual attendance at a place of worship for private individual prayer while maintaining physical distancing. Restriction on social activities. Number nine, no person shall host or attend A, a private party, which includes any person from outside of the immediate household or the house occupant. B, a recreational or competitive sporting event. C, a wedding which hosts 10 or more persons other than the bride, bridegroom, official witnesses, and the marriage officer. D, a banquet, ball, or reception. E, any social event. F, any other ceremony of public worship in any facility or public place which involves the participation of any member of the general public or a congregation. G, a funeral, except 10 members of the immediate family and at least one officiant and essential mortuary staff, or H, a meeting of a fraternal society, private or social club, or civic association or organization. Restrictions on international travel. For the purposes of preventing, controlling, and suppressing the spread of COVID-19 with immediate effect, A, except with the prior written permission of the airport's authority, all airports, including private airports and fixed base operations or FBOs, shall be closed to incoming international flights carrying any visitor. B. All seaports shall be closed to regional and international seafaring and private boating. And C. No visitor shall be permitted to enter and disembark for any reason, including transiting through the state of Grenada. Number two. The restriction contained in subregulation 1 does not apply to A. Outgoing flights or outgoing ships, as the case may be. B. Cargo flights or cargo ships, as the case may be. C. Commercial courier flights. D. Emergency medical flights. E. Emergency flights approved by the airport's authority. F flights carrying any diplomat. Number three, notwithstanding subregulation two, no crew member will be allowed or granted shore leave for the purposes of operational difficulties and upon receiving permission from the airport's authority or the port's authority. Restriction on domestic travel. Number 11, 
no person shall offer hire for hire or seek to travel any a mail boat sailing into island for transport or freight or b inter island private commercial transport except with the approval of the ports authority restriction on road traffic number one no person shall drive a vehicle on any public or private road for a purpose other than state stated regulations 5 7 9 c or 9 g 2 the royal grenada police force shall have powers to stop any vehicle and inquire as to the purposes for which the vehicle is being utilized and to arrest anyone found in violation of this restriction number three for the purposes of this regulation vehicle includes a motorbike or motor vehicle public transportation number one no person shall offer for hire or seek to travel on a any motor omnibus unless there is or would be not more than one passenger per row in the motor bus in a staggered formation b any hiring cap car or taxi unless there is not more than one passenger in the vehicle number two in this regulation motor omnibus hiring car and taxi have the meanings assigned under the road traffic act chapter 289a restrictions on visits number one no person shall visit or be permitted to visit a any place of quarantine or isolation station b a patient in a hospital or residential care establishment or facility including an elderly nursing home c a detainee in prison number two notwithstanding subregulation one but subject to protocols of the hospital a patient of a hospital may be allowed one visitor per day penalty number 15 a person who contravenes or fails to comply with these regulations shall be guilty of an offense and on summary conviction liable to a fine of one thousand dollars and to imprisonment for 12 months and to forfeiture of any goods or money in respect of which the offense has been committed guidelines number 16 the commissioner of police may on the direction of the cabinet of grenada issue guidelines to provide further for further clarification on these regulations thank you